We are going over percent bar graphs guided notes. My learning target is I can summarize categorical data with numerical and graphical summaries, including the percent bar graph, and use these summaries to describe the data distribution. So a percent bar graph is used to show categorical data. So I'm going to look at my graph and I'm going to answer these questions. So what percentage of sixth grade likes action movies? So if I go over here, sixth grade action movies, it's from 20 to 60 percent. So the difference between that is 40 percent. All right, next one. If there are 200 students in eighth grade, how many like thriller movies? So if there are 200 students in eighth grade, the ones that like thriller are from 80 to 100%, so that is 20%. So, I divide by two to get, I'm sorry, I multiply by two to get 200. So 20 times two is 40. So this is gonna be 40 students. All right, and then what is the difference between the percentage in sixth grade that likes action movies versus comedy movies. So I already know that action movies is 40%. Comedy movies is going to be 20%. So my difference is 20%. All right, what percentage of eighth grade likes labs? So we go to eighth grade, labs is from here to here, so that's from 80 to 20, so that is 20%. Sorry, 80 to 100, which is 20%. All right, if there are 50 students in seventh grade, how many like dachshunds? So we have 50 students in seventh grade. We are going to know the percentage. So seventh grade likes dachshunds. That's going to be 40%. This is divided by two. So 40 divided by two is 20. So 20 students. All right, what is the difference between the percentage in seventh grade that likes Aussies versus Dachshunds? So I know that in seventh grade, 40% like Dachshunds. And then Aussies is from 40 to 70%, so that is 30%, so the difference between 40% and 30% is 10%. All right, and then what percentage of eighth grade likes Aussies? So if we look at eighth grade, Aussies is from 60% to 80%, which is a difference of 20%.